yo, Farmer Dre back at it. It's another beautiful, beautiful day here on the farm. It's always beautiful. Whenever you're a farmer, it's sun shining, it's nice and warm. It's always a beautiful day here. But we're getting ready to start planting strawberries. Uh, last night we got done pressing cider about 3 a.m. Uh, we slept a couple hours. We had to do a few farm tours this morning. And now I'm gonna jump on the transplanter, get everything ready to go. This is a water wheel transplanter. I'll show you guys how this works, but we gotta do some adjustments. Gotta fine tune and everything for strawberries. So this is one of the oldest transplanters. I think it's made by Rainfall, I'm not really sure. It's that old that has no uh, logos or anything on it. But this is, a, this is a water wheel transplanter. So the water tank fertilizer, I'm also, I'm also gonna add some, some, uh, some other stuff in there that I bought from uh, the plug supplier to make sure the plants start get off strong. And on strawberries, we do two rows. I gotta add another wheel here. Uh, they're gonna be a foot apart, but two, two rows per bed there. So yeah, it's gonna be, uh, put, we're gonna put a lot of hours on this thing this year. 45,000 plants, here we come. So here we go. The uh, they're plant, they're foot apart each wheel. The closest I could go here is 14 inches. So it's gonna be 14 inches from here to here, which is alright. We got a 32 inch raised bed, so it's gonna be it's, uh, it worked last year, and it's gonna work this year as well. The new ones, the new mo uh, rain flows uh, transplanter, just have a bar, and you can adjust as close and as tight as you want. This old one here has got just that right there, so it's limited. I put a ratchet strap there to, to tighten this a little more. But this piece right here is gonna hold it together. It's all right though. It's uh, gonna work out pretty right good. Here in the back, strawberry fields right there. We got the sweet Charlies going in first. These are early variety. They're even earlier than Rocco. We got 10,000 of these. So there's 1,200 plants. There's 10 loads or nine loads of sweet Charlies. Hopefully we'll get the majority of them planted today. So let's go ahead and jump on the tractor here. Ann and I will be uh, planting here. So uh, let's go. that some of the plug plants were a little drier than what we like. Uh, they're not 100% dry, but 
the uh, the uh, plant's already stressed and it's getting transplanted. Uh, we don't want to risk it. So what we're doing here is we have these wagons and we are putting the uh, plants out on these wagons and watering them. And then we're gonna take them off the wagon and put them into the right in the mulch and the transplanter. Going to start planting. So the variety we're putting on here is Ruby June. Uh, we have 10,000 of these, and then we have 10,000 of the cha uh, Sweet Charlie. But we've already started planting those, so it's not too bad. So we're going to unloading these. Make sure they're nice and watered. Make sure they're nice and uh, crisp, so that whenever we do transplant, they don't get shocked. So we got 4,000 plants in the ground and uh, everything's looking good. We're gonna leave it here for tonight. Tomorrow morning, first thing, put more plants on there and start planting. I wanna get done planting hopefully tomorrow with all the ones we have now, or if not on Saturday. We'll see, we have a few farm tours in the morning and then we have some other uh, things going on. So we'll see. That's, a, that's the hardest part of this time of year is uh, figuring out the rest of the, uh, you know, Rest of the farm, we got farm tours, we got a pick going on. Of course, we got to finish planting here. So, uh, you know, this year we're starting about 10 days earlier than last year. Remember last year we started planting on the 18th. We got done on the 20 something. So uh, these early varieties need to go in a lot earlier to build more crowns, to uh, have more, you know, more energy for the spring. Real quick before we end off the video, I want to show you these sunflowers. They've been growing like crazy. They're really tall now. They're to my chest, and look at this. They all have a beautiful flower head on them. I'm gonna go ahead and walk to, there's a bunch of bloomed ones right there. I wanna show you guys, it's pretty cool. So look at this one, this is well over, it's taller than me. Beautiful sunflowers. A lot of them in this area here are blooming already. And then I planted the Peridovic, which is a yellow sunflower. Then I planted an Autumn Beauty variety, kind of mixed into, look at that, it's beautiful, beautiful, lush. Uh, Sunflower, so it's just kind of scattered in between here hit or miss. There's a purple one right there a bunch of beautiful yellow ones ready these will be opening up here pretty quick all these yellow ones and Yeah, it's real beautiful. They've grown like crazy. Uh, they're gonna be a little later than usual, but this is good though because It's gonna have another motive for our customers to come out to the farm. So Look how pretty that is Beautiful sunflowers right here. So a lot of weeds that are growing tall, competing for moisture and for sunlight, but overall, it is good. So I'm not sure what these are called. Uh, these yellow ones have just one single flower on them, and then these other ones, these Autumn Beauty, they have multiple flowers. So I'm not sure what you call these, uh, or if there's different types. Like in, in tomatoes, I know there's determinate, indeterminate, but on these, I'm not really sure what to call them, but look how pretty that is autumn beauty sunflowers so there's a bunch of the nice thing about this we just i had this, i just bought a five pound bag and uh, i just put it in there so it's not just one row it's just scattered and mixed throughout that's the nice thing about it you know if a customer's coming through here walking through here they're going to see the different types of sunflowers and want to pick those certain ones just because you know they're cool you don't see them very often they're dark they're a mixture of colors yeah, but it's going to be a beautiful sight whenever these are all blooming. Uh, I'm not sure how long sunflowers usually stay bloomed, but it's going to be uh, it's going to be beautiful out here for sure. So here's another autumn beauty, gorgeous. So hopefully this in a couple more weeks, all these other ones will be blooming here pretty nice, or uh, by next weekend they will have a beautiful time out here. Alrighty, y'all, this is going to be it for today. If you guys haven't already, go and hit that subscribe button. Smash that like button if you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget, hit that notification icon so you guys can be notified whenever I do upload a video. I'm going to try to upload every day while we're planting strawberries until we get through with that. Or even further, you know, showcases sunflowers and whatnot. So, yeah, you know, if we're out here working, you know, we're, I'm already doing the work anyway. So, I want to say thanks for watching up to this point. You guys have a good day, and we will see you next time.